Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Yaman from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. Today we are discussing about the topic Computer Aided Engineering Drawings. Topic Projects are Supply. First, we are discussing about introduction. CAS stands for Computer Aided Engineering and Designs. It encompasses the use of software to create, analyze, and optimize the a product design. These can be broken down into two main components computer aided design the invo involves using software to create digital models of physical objects this model can be 2d drawings or more commonly 3d models xy planes xy planes vp and hp explain planes acts as a reference planes imagine a flat sheet of paper that's the xy plane the vertical plane is perpendicular to the xy plane and present to the front view to the object you can visualize this like like look straight added at the object the horizontal plane is also perpendicular to the xy plane but represent a view from above as if looking down on the object drawing view on vp and hp in a typical engineering drawing two main views are generated top view this is drawn on the hp showing the object from above planes parallel to the xy are represented in the true true length on the top view this is this is drawn on the vp show the object from the front length parallel to the y axis are represent to the true length on the front view CAD projections of planes projections of planes in a computer aided drawings projections of planes refers to the method of representing a three dimensional planes on Two dimensional drawing planes. This is achieved by a using orthographic projections where perpendicular lines are drawn from a planes or two reference planes. Horizontal planes HP, imaginary flat surface below the object. Vertical planes like VP, imaginary flat surface in front of the object. The resulting represent on these planes are called views. Front view projection of the planes into the vertical plane. Top view projections of the plane into horizontal plane. Plane include to both HP and VP. The plane is tilted with the respect to the both reference planes. Determining the views re re requires a step by step approach. Assuming one plane is parallel to the reference plane at the point at a time and then introducing the other triangle. Triangle. These are planes surface bounded by a three straight sides are edges. Depending on the specific geometric properties of the triangles, we have equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and right angle triangle. And polygonals, these are plane surface bounded by more than four straight sides or edges. Polygonals are also are the two types: regular polygonal and irregular polygonal. Regular polygonals are the all the sets of are equal and the all angle between the adjacent sets are also equal. Irregular polygons each the all either all the sets are not equal or all the sets angle between adjacent are, are not equal or both. Thank you for watching this video. In this in in that next we are discussing about the problems about plane. A circular lamina of 50 mm diameter raster HP such that one of its diameter is inclined at 30 degree to VP and 45 degree to HP. Draw its top and front view in this position. First we have to take a single line and make it visible line and draw on, on a sheet and text select the text option and text X and another side Y above the x y line vp and below the x y line hp we get the circle the circle option is here and select circle by center point and change the line into visible line ok the given the circular lamina is resting on hp we have, we have to keep the circle in hp and give the diameter 50 enter 50 and put in horizontal plane and divide it into a 8 parts 
first we have to draw center line and divide it into 8 parts Here test 8 and pleasant. Here give 3, uh, 360 degree and plus enter. This we can circle into different 8 parts. And uh, next we have to text here A, B, C, and here D, C, F, G, H. and show the dimension and we need to draw the projection slide and name it draw projection slide and this line make it to visible line zoom it and text a dash b dash of h dash here c dash of g dash here d dash of f dash here e dash Next up, we have to know the diameter is inclined diameter, uh, this distance and uh, first we have to see the question here we have to draw 30 degree line 30 degree on the x line next step now they are given diameter is inclined to 30 degree to VP and 45 degree to HP. So we need to measure this A dash and B dash of H dash for next step. Next step 45 degree and show the angle and its arc by center point and draw the arc. First we have to draw the here 45 degree. degree and show the dimension angle between and show the angle next go to arc by center point and uh, place uh, place on x y line and cut and give the radius as 7.32 and cut an arc from upper side same procedure copy the dash b dash also we test there only by the text option next we have to extend the line to intersect the intersection point intersection points join all the lines b dash to b dash and uh, also extend to h dash next g dash to g dash 
next a to a next uh, b next c so d and next e next f and next last one g last one h next go to ellipse by three points and point on here first we have to make it visible line and select three points this is over next we have to join this lines to easy to make next steps next in the diameter is inclined to 30 degree to vp next we have to draw 30 degree here the first step to second step the diameter is changing it is 50 and here it is 35 we have to see here the diameter is 35 and here is 50 how to find beta angle go to the arc by center point and we need to draw 50 degree arc By this, draw the locus line. Next, we have to take a locus line, draw the locus line here. Draw the locus line. After we give the uh, radius 35.36 here and press center and draw an arc here on the locus line and join the line after that show the angle then go to option and uh, press control and select the lines also circle also and move and take it to the 30 degree 30 degree line and rotate rotate it and give the names here it's G F E B here C and here B this over next we have to final step we need to get a front view so we have to extend upward direction to the intersection points so we have to extend this line upward direction to intersect the points on vp Here F dash, F dash, F to F dash, 
लास्ट वन जी डैश जी टू जी डैश लास्ट वन एच डैश यानी यार दिस वर्ड भी नेक्स्ट भी आउट तो सोमिट एंड एंड टेक्स्ट यार ये ये डैश यार बी बी डैश C C dash D D dash D D dash G F G G dash H H dash Next go to go to the uh, say, uh, say arc option and uh, first we have to go to tools and uh, change the settings before we have to then go to our caption and uh, press on a and uh, select the points where they are in intersecting and join all the points and uh, press right click right on uh, print views over after that uh, we have to move the text to the seeing parts this helps to locate the points where they are 